Hey guys, Wednesday, June 5th, 2024, U.S. session closed. Dollar didn't really do much. Just kind of chopping around here. Couldn't even get to the point of control of 104.63. So nothing really there. This is probably the area if it wants to go. Might fail and go down. But we also got that trend line. We also got that date June 6th with Saudi petrodollar expires contract. So that's going to be interesting and fun. And see, what's that going to bring? Someone asked me on YouTube channel, what do you think is going to happen? I was like, I have no idea. I honestly don't have no idea. MACD still negative on the monthly, on the weekly. Bounce off uh, point of control. 103.92. So far, just kind of struggling a little bit. You can see on the daily, we have resistance here. This is 50% level on the cloud, 104.43. You got that trend line that even if it pierces through here, I want to see it close above that and start grinding higher. If not, it's going to get ugly, guys. It's going to get ugly. The future on the Kumo, Kumo cloud. Let's open this up so we can kind of see what's going on. The future on the Kumo cloud is already starting to get negative. We're below the cloud on the short term. But uh, the MACD looks like it wants to go positive, but, you know, we at least got to cross the zero line, so get a little Momo like this right here. But so far, if it's going to cross over, it's on a negative area, uh, but it looks like it may we want to, but, you know, you got the 20, uh, 200 SMA, the 20 here, the 50, you got the cloud 50%, you got this trend line. So whatever it is, is going to have to be rough and strong to at least here. And then all this data that's coming out tomorrow and Friday, it's just, it's just a big mess. I uh, locked in my profits on the euro. I'm just watching it now just to see what it's going to do next. Look at the four hour and the four hour we got our uh, Andrew's pitchfork. As you can see, we uh, opened this up a little bit. We, we can't even get to this angle. We might. I don't know. Maybe overnight London. They might bring it in there. And then that's the key. This is what you want to wait for when it gets up there. Because then once it gets up there, you got to decide, is it going to go up? Once you see weakness, pounce, put your stop there. Just really short, real quick. It's either it's either going to work out to the downside or going to stop you out, but you're you're out. But at least you, you got skin in the game. But if you kind of wait, you know, and then it really dips, then you kind of lose the opportunity. So once it gets to that trend line, set an alert. Let it wake you up in the, you know, midnight hour or whatever, and then just watch and see what's going to happen. Is it going to continue? And that's when I uh, will probably short the uh, the euro. Uh, but if it's going to go down, that's when I'm going to go along the euro. But this is the line in the sand there. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, my channel, you can see that it was struggling around the 25% uh, here, uh, above the uh, 50 so 25 is kind of struggling, but you're in this channel that it's on the down side. I don't see anything else that I want to show you here. I mean, even the uh, daily linear regression channel is pointing down. And you can see that the weekly is just going sideways, indication of chop. Uh, point of uh, midpoint chart, as you can see, that got that trend line there, still there. Hasn't really at least gone to uh, 104.41. Uh, there was a pivot here that I was watching, and I kind of locked in profits, like somewhere around here, just because I saw a lot of selling pressure, and then it kind of bounced off the 50%. Let's open this up a little more so we can kind of see what's going on here. Found out, bounced off the 50%, got this nice spike. It looks like it was a, I don't know, I, I almost pulled the trigger to go long, but I was like, yeah, after I read that article about, you know, June this 9th, or whatever it is, the uh, 9th, yeah. Where the petrodollar expires with the Saudis, like, hmm, I don't know, that doesn't look too good. I don't know what the Saudis are going to do. Uh, maybe they're locking deals with, you know, Russia and China, who knows. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen. But maybe uh, crypto is probably the play. Maybe they're going to try to transition the dollar into some digital currency or whatever and and get us all in the system. But, uh, you know, I digress. But so far, it's been uh, finding support at the uh, 104.24. And found support at the 50. So on the uh, hourly chart, it's not looking too bad. For tomorrow, you need to stay above at least 104.29 to have a fighting chance at least kiss 104.46, which is right here. And if it breaks through there, then you know what that means? That it may want to kiss this tre trend line, and that's where the battle begins. Because if it could regain that, uh, it could probably kiss 106. 
Uh, but if it doesn't and it goes down, then it lines up with the uh, weekly seasonality cycle with June and July are very weak and then bottom out. But then you got that June, <laughs> you got the June knife situation. What's going to happen there? They've been saying the black swan, the black swan event is coming in 2024. That's a black swan horizon. No one knows what it is. And it's true. You don't really know what it is. It's a curveball. That when it, when that curveball hits, it either spikes or spikes up. Uh, but I think that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to kind of let you know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm watching the dollar. I think this is probably the play. A lot of things are cooking in here. And if the volatility increases, you know, it's going to be really good. The indices are climbing like there's nothing wrong in this planet. Uh, NASDAQ, everything is just skyrocketing. The Dow, the, uh, Dow Jones uh, kind of struggling. You know, Russell is trying to catch up. But the ES is kind of going there. And, and NASDAQ is kind of leading the way. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of black swan event that... Um, uh, those guys would probably, you know, the higher, like the NASDAQ would probably topple the quickest. Uh, so I got those guys on my uh, radar also. And then I saw something about June the 6th, possible earthquake. Some uh, boxer was talking about it. I don't know, some weird stuff. June 6th, that's Gan's birthday, and that's my birthday. So it'll be interesting to see what's cooking there on June 6th. Uh, it's an interesting day, I, I, I will say. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but let's see what happens on June 6th. You got June 6th, you got June 9th with the uh, dollar, petrodollar uh, contract uh, expiration with the Saudis, and something about June 11th. So there's a couple of days you want to keep on your radar and watch the markets and set alerts and just kind of focus on the news and see what's happening. Uh, so if something happens, you know how to react quick. And you have a game plan in place. I'm going to sign out. Hopefully you like this video. And I'll keep you posting on my thoughts on the U.S. dollar.